All right, if you look at me, you know I like to eat. That is no <laughs> thing about that. But can anybody tell me the difference between barbecue and going to a cookout? Somebody asked me one day to go to a barbecue. I'm thinking completely different than what I get. I get there, they're cooking hamburgers, hot dogs on a grill. Uh, and I'm from North Carolina. Oh, barbecue is cooked meat, but it is a whole hog, and it must be cooked on the smoker. It's not no hamburger, it's no hot dog, it's, no, it's definitely no um, fruits or vegetables. <laughs> um, it came from, yeah, North Carolina barbecue originates from a lot of influences. The first barbecue was in North Carolina was from settler, early settlers and slaves on plantations. There's five states that are known for barbecue, and they all have different styles. You have Kansas, Memphis, St. Louis, Texas, and North Carolina. Oh, um, what do you need for a good barbecue? You need good wood, good hog, smoker, and a good sauce, which there's a big debate in North Carolina of uh, what a sauce should be. Um, first, you have to pick your wood. I prefer apple or either cherry or hickory. It gives it a sweet, it meat a sweeter taste. And for a hog, you really have different, like five main parts that you have to worry about when you're cooking whole. You have to worry about the ribs, the loin, the tenderloin, the shoulder, and the ham. With a smoker, you could either buy one, which is going to cost you up to some cost up to ten thousand dollars. That's a down payment on a car. Or you can make one like we did in my shop class. This guy <laughs> made one out of like an old bathtub. It looks like in our shop class we made one out of uh, aluminum. No, it was a, a old cast iron, um, like tank. And when you start cooking, you cook depending on the size at 250. Like, um, uh, if it's, most of your hogs are gonna range between 40 and 75 pounds. So that's gonna be eight to nine hours with um, 250 degrees, which in North Carolina we call that low and slow. Cook it for a low time, a low temp at a slow tent on time. You also, but when you get up to 200 pound hogs, which are enough to feed a lot of people, and then you're getting up to a whole day of you just sitting out there. And I know this is not right, drinking your favorite adult beverage, just <laughs> sitting by the grill. Now, in North Carolina, you have Eastern style barbecue and Western style barbecue. From Raleigh to um, Raleigh East is Eastern style. And from, I think, Lexington West is uh, Western. But it all has the same base. It starts with salt, vinegar, red pepper, garlic, cooked over a heat. But in the Western part, they use tomato sauce or ketchup, which gives your sauce a brighter color. And most of the time, I don't prefer that kind, but it's what they like. When you're done, you really have to be a butcher. You have to know what kind of part, what parts you want. As my grandmother always told me, you have to eat the rooter to the tutor. <laughs> but I don't eat the rooter or the tutor. <laughs> and like you, like I said, when you're pulling it, like they're doing in this picture right here. You're going to make a pulled pork sandwich, or some people call it BBQ sandwich, or whatever. Um, the biggest staples in North Carolina are ribs and, like I said, pulled pork. And that's all.